We found out today an Austin woman died during Sunday's storm. A lightning strike on the River Place Trail hit and killed 37 year old Michelle Wolf. It's the first lightning death in Austin in 20 years. KXA meteorologist Rosie Newberry examines the conditions that day and how they became so dangerous. KXAN's Jim Spencer was watching the radar Sunday as their first cold front of the season swept through central Texas. This was that thunderstorm as it was moving over Austin and we actually measured several thousand cloud to ground lightning strikes as it passed through the metro area. Cloud to ground lightning strikes can occur 10 to 15 miles away from the storm. Actually there was no problem being outside that day but as soon as this storm that moved up from the south got to the point you could see lightning or hear thunder you were in danger and should be indoors. The woman who died Sunday was out here on the trail, and trails can be dangerous places in thunderstorms. Either you're near trees, which can encourage a bolt to come from the sky, or more likely in Michelle's case, she was exposed, which means lightning only had the option of striking her. But lightning deaths are rare. Only about one in every 10 people struck by lightning dies. Yeah, when they said that happened, I pretty much kind of knew where it had to be. Marty has run the River Place Trail for more than 10 years. He can picture the place where Michelle was exposed to the sky. He stresses extreme caution. Uh, if there's any lightning, I check, check the weather maps, all I can find, and confirm where storms are and where they're headed and try to plan around them. Only one other death has occurred in Texas this year, a man in a park near Lubbock. In Austin, Rosie Newberry, KXAN News. But overall, the National Weather Service says lightning strike deaths are up this year, and it is likely due to people not taking storms seriously, Jim. Well, and that's why we'd like everyone to make sure they have our KXAN weather app mm -hmm. before the next round of storms. It has a unique feature on it that will begin warning you when lightning is getting close. You'll actually hear my voice come over your phone to alert you to the lightning. It's free, and it is in your app store. Download it today.